Spending days at the hospital isn't easy for anyone, but for kids, being stuck in a room can be even more difficult. Tonight, we're learning about new in-home video technology. As KXAN's Eugene Cho found out, it is making it much easier for families whose children have seizures to find out exactly what the problem is. He's almost nine. He'll be nine next month. At that age, I do. all Drew Flea Hardy wants to do is the exact opposite of what he needs to do at the hospital. He does not want to be in the same room. He wants to be on the go, moving, doing things all the time. Drew has epilepsy. So you're always on edge, always waiting for the next seizure, and always trying to do everything you can to prevent that from happening. One way to do that is an EEG. It monitors his brain activity by setting it up. I know. I'm in the way isn't easy. Dr. Karen Keogh told us sometimes the monitoring can last for several days. Kids will miss school. Their parents will miss work. But often those long stays won't even show what the doctors are looking for. I always compare it to taking your car to the shop when it's making a certain noise. And when you take the car in, it doesn't make that noise. And so you can't get people to understand what it is that you're worried about. The new video technology means Drew can be monitored at home where he's comfortable. They connect these leads to his head. They're portable and they record Drew's brain activity when they're sleeping. Even when, most importantly, when they're sleeping. This way. Come inside, Mr. Bird, said the mouse. They have a better chance at figuring out what's going on, helping to improve kids like Drew's quality of life. Just his well being, ha happiness, comfort level. Eugene Show, KXAN News. Dr. Karen Keogh told us insurance companies prefer this kind of study because it is less expensive than hospitalizing a child. She believes this kind of technology, while relatively new, is underutilized.